Yeah, I'm back. Pretty rough morning, but I'm back. You see, people, they want me, the lizards want me to forget all about, you know, what they've done to, to me. Nothing's resolved. I still have chemtrails and AI implants in me. Just because, you know, you know what, follow Jesus? Follow your little black book? It hasn't solved anything. That's why, you know, it's important that every everybody walks their walk. The only reason why they fucking tagged my ass is because I can see them. That's it. They don't like it when normal people see things. So, they have all these fancy gadgets, you know. But when you really come down to home, it is what it is. The gang stalking hasn't stopped. The dirty looks haven't stopped because everybody wants to have their fucking astral sex because through the pineal gland. It's the technology people. Okay? They use the technology for their whatever they want to do. And then on top of it, they use the technology against humanity and they abuse children and, you know, normal people walking down the street. That's what they're doing. See, they want me to forget all about this shit. They want me to forget the very moment that my gang stalking forgot. No, 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 I've, I've never forgotten that. Just driving home one night. I know exactly who put these implants in me. Guilty as charged. They put their directed energy weapons on me to, you know, control me. That's what the Masons want to do. They want to control everybody remotely. So they can do whatever they want. That's not how human... That is no way anybody on this planet should live. Is to be controlled by someone else. That's bullshit. Every human being is born free. The only reason why they do it to certain people, such as myself, is because we're different. We're different on a soul level. Bottom line. And probably the genetics, too. Because they've been doing a field day testing on everybody. And it's like I've said in the past, you know. You got people walking down the street, pissed off at me because I won't join the hive mind. No, you're fucking right I won't join the hive mind. Because I have seen firsthand how deadly it is. And what it has done to humanity. It entraps people. It puts people on the blackmail list. And that is no way to live. You know, I told you, this car in, in Charlottesville, that, that's a remote controlled car. That's what Breitbart was probably trying to talk about. But I think he was, I went through a little bit more of the history and I think he was trying to expose um, the, the human trafficking. But I do remember something about how he also, um, he had something else on uh, cars being remotely controlled now by uh, DARPA. But that got pushed under the rug. I do remember something that Alex Jones mentioned. He was working on some stories. But, you know, you got your people, you know. See nothing, hear nothing. Listen to nothing. And it's costing a lot of valuable human life, people. You know, if you don't wake up from this shit, you're not going to have anything left. You can forget your your family. Because guess what? If you're in on this, guess what? The knocking on the door can come at any moment. And every last gang stalker is guilty of this. Better wake the fuck up if you work for the dark side. Because you know too much. You're just as expendable as the next guy. So, you know, there's a lot of people on the inside. It's like I read this other, this, this guy said point blank. 
The only way this shit's going to get resolved is people coming in on the inside and start exposing this stuff with hardcore evidence. Because the ones that are like me, that are just getting hit, we don't have the inside scoop. All we're getting is the receiving end. But on the receiving end, you can see what goes on in the inside. What goes on within people's hearts. Yeah, you see their true colors. <laughs>